sounds like royalty and gets to the bottom of the steps and parts the crowd just with motion and looks straight at you all as a light beams like in front of you like a spotlight on you sorry <laughs> where's that light coming from from the heavens. Well, wow. as as he approaches, well, aren't you all just a cute bunch of wild cards? Come, Thanks. follow me somewhere where we can be a little more comfortable. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me if there's more games to be played. Oh, there's some games to play. I like games. Okay. You follow? Yes. Sure. Okay. Um, and as the bouncers are just kind of going around and like stopping people from from coming and following you, uh, and you're escorted to like a VIP area. Do we go up the stairs? Or development. Development. No, like a VIP area in like the main floor of the casino. Gotcha. Up some steps, but no, not up up upstairs. So just lavish like private meeting rooms. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and Trisha sits down. Please have a seat. It's plus you like fall in almost like uh, half a foot. Yeah. The are like up here. My feet are like dangling <laughs> because I'm so short. Did you enjoy yourselves in my casino? Yeah. Yes. Look at these teeth I won. <laughs> Indeed. Oh. oh, from a Tarasque. I see. Mm-hmm. It's lucky. I well. won some water. <laughs> <laughs> Holy water. I can make that double. Yes. And another one appears in the other hand. Mm-hmm. Fortune favors you. So, what brings you to my casino? Them. They brought me here. I figured if we got the royal treatment, you would already know. <clears throat> Quite insightful, Verity Vale. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here mm-hmm. for my gift. Well, let's just say the Chancellor has already informed me. Him and I go way back, you see. Oh? Oh, yes, we used to date for some time. But he got busy with administrative stuff at the college. He should have stuck to teaching. <laughs> yeah. There's no tenure. fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> the curse of tenure. <laughs> Listen, I can tell you where you need to go, and I have the means to get you what you want. I just need a small favor. A deal, right? You like games? I do like games. Right? It depends. I don't know what this gift is, though, so I don't even know if I'm I'm always willing to roll the dice. Oh, well, it's not quite dice. But one of my Modrars, you see, R4M, he went missing in Undersigle. Security thinks he might have been stolen from our premises. I'd simply like you to keep an eye out for him. Because you will be traveling to Dr. Sigal. For our gift. Where's that? It's below. It's under Sigal. Can you give me the name one more time? R4M. Thank you. It will satisfy part of the deal if you find it. If not, you will compensate me. <laughs> like what? We shall see. That's vague. That is. Could you be more specific? <laughs> Not at this moment. Okay. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that a deal? Mm. Yes. Works for me. Mm? Works for me. Easy. Okay. You'll be needing this then. And she gets out, or sorry, gets out a gleaming white crystal eye. It's like chipped on one side. Don't ask me how I came in possession of it. All I know is that is what you Wait, need. Wait, do you have it? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so perhaps someone or something is missing that. Deep in under, under Sigil, in a defunct mortuary. Roger. Yes. <laughs> now, Pharaoh 
knows how to get you there. Then we will follow. And from behind some curtains is a uh, very slender looking uh, astral elf with slick back white hair and a very roguish looking gear. And they just nod. So we're bringing this mm-hmm. orb to this mortuarium. That's all I know. Honest. And then we find the thing we're looking for that we need. Find whatever's missing that eye, and you'll have your gift. Okay. That works for us. I like it. It's a gift. <laughs> what is it? That's for the lady to decide. What lady? Which lady? Yes, thank you. Lady of pain. Lady of the pain. lady. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if I want to do all this for a gift. I don't know if I want. I could care less, to be frank. I think it sounds like an adventure. I'm yes. glad that winning a little bit of coin has uh, perked up your spirits. Yeah. Because, well, this is what we do. Often. Like all gold? the time. No, the going to dangerous places dangerous looking for places. unknown things. It was in the contract you signed. Perhaps you should have read it first. <laughs> I'm not very good at reading. We'll work on that. Okay. Fine. If that's all, the rooms of yours are pro bono, but normally 100,000 gold a night, so I suggest you get your belongings and get going before the next billing cycle begins. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Are we all in agreement that we should head out? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Who is our guide again? That's Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Pharaoh. Oh, they said Pharaoh. Yeah. <laughs> Pharaoh as in Egyptians? They don't know. F-A-R-R-O-W. They don't ah. speak, but they're a good guide. We will follow. Pharaoh is a Mia. Hmm? Pharaoh is a Mia. <laughs> Thank Very you. well. <laughs> I would say it was a pleasure it. to meet you, but <laughs> you won more gold today than I care to admit. I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> it was good for our establishment, so anyway, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. It was nice meeting you. Pike get you Burks. <laughs> <laughs> Pike get you Burks. Yeah. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Head out. Okay, you're going to head out? Onwards. Does anyone remember how to get to the under sigil? Yeah, Pharaoh does. Yeah, Pharaoh nods. Yeah, oh, he's gotten us all the way. Yeah, I assume you have all your stuff at this point, right? Yeah. Yes. What are Pharaoh's what pronouns? stuff we wouldn't have had on uh, They them. They them? Yes. Okay. As you follow, you just follow Pharaoh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. He just nods at you and takes you back behind the casino where there's a, a manhole cover, essentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's Very some elegant. guards, what? Very yeah. Elegant. There's some guy who gets out a crowbar and opens it up. Is it stinky? <laughs> yes, it is quite stinky down there. It's stinky down there. It Lead down. the way, Pharaoh. Pharaoh nods. Uh, and you're about to enter Ooh. Under Sigil. Ooh. Yeah. Under Sigil. Under <laughs> Sigil. God, it's so hard. Okay. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I miss it. Nothing is fine. <laughs> Pharaoh points the way down. Are you, are you coming with us? They nod. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Are you going to go first, or do we go first? How far down is They the nod way? and begin climbing down the steps quite far. Like, at least uh, 200 feet of stairs. How much damage do you take for Is it a line? stair or a ladder? It's like a... Or is it like oh, a, sorry, ladder, like the ladders. Oh, ladder, like, okay. Steel ladders, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How much damage you take when you fall per, per distance? D6, so you would take 26 damage if you fell. Don't fall, my friend. I know you're a bit afraid of heights, but you should be fine. I jumped up. What? You have, like, feather fall or anything? Hmm. I'll just give you the average damage. You take 60 points of damage. Okay. 60? As you <laughs> crunch, you're on Are you dead? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the most comfortable landing, but I'll live. Or Are you literally sort of live. dead now? No, I'm fine. 60 points of damage? Absolutely fine. 
How which would be very HP weird for everyone else have? to see. So. Oh my god! Daryl goes down, jumps to the floor. Scooter's like sitting on my shoulder as well, or climbing down. I make my way down slowly, but steadily. Okay. I'll yeah, follow. I'll follow too. I uh, enter under Sigil. It's chaotic. You can see behind you what it looks like. <laughs> the realm below is snaking in a labyrinth of ancient tunnels, uh, long standing city structures that have long been forgotten. It's just now basically a criminal crossroad, flooded cisterns, and endless catacombs. It's just, aside from criminals, there's monsters and unusual pests from all around the multiverse just plague this area and its inhabitants. There's uh, screams and echoes of like terror just throughout the, all the different hallways. And you see muffled uh, flaps of uh, varguils, which are flapping severed heads from the abyss. Ooh. They're like like a severed head with wing, with like bat wings, <laughs> like chasing prey. And there's also like, there's also like cranium rats just uh, scurrying everywhere for the tunnels. I'm sorry, <laughs> rats. Cranium rats. They're cra- they're rats that have big brains exposed. Mm. So oh. oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna this go up. To, can I go up to one of the rats? Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can speak to animals. Okay. <clears throat> Rap does not the brain. Exactly. Hey. Hey. We're looking for somebody who's been abducted, question mark. Yeah. Don't we still have our guide? Yeah, we still have our guide. That's just to get you the more t- uh, to the mortuary. Yeah, he doesn't know what yeah. the objective. Who are we? Person. Sorry, we're looking for this person. Our a modron, line. which is like a one eye, like a minion. Our you know, the, you know the you know the minions from the minions. Yes. Our, yeah, they look like minions. Yeah, our except, <laughs> except mechanical. Yeah. Oh, like okay. a semi-organic mm-hmm. mechanical. Yeah, they have one they're big spray eye. Spray paints the yellow. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking at this rat. Mm-hmm. Can you tell your other rat friends <laughs> to find? R4M. Persuasion. Nice. Well, it's gonna be an advantage. You an advantage, yeah, when you're, yeah. When you're and, the Mar- and Mark of the Herald. Whee! Whoa! Nat 20 BB plus one, that's a 21. Whoa, really? And I'll make hear? it worth your while. Beware of the strawberry. What? I kinda like flash my like vampiric teeth at them. What do you mean, the strawberry? Follow me. <clears throat> My rat friends want them to be followed. Now I follow after the rats. You I'm, have rat friends? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Leave everyone this way. Onwards. Um, okay. I'm following you, and I reach down at one of the rats while we're walking. <laughs> like, hi, my name's Oleander. <laughs> Rats have rabies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think they want to be friends with me. So you follow the rat, it goes kind of up a rally, slithers. Oh, yeah, slithers, scared like. of Scooter, that's why. <laughs> oh, that's right. I didn't think about that, yeah. <laughs> scooter down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. Stay with you make your way through uh, part of Hunter Sigil uh, with Pharaoh and guided by this cranium rat you have persuaded. <laughs> <laughs> because that's Dungeons and Dragons. DM shakes his head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it seems to be leading you through what's likely a shortcut, uh, given that Pharaoh's uh, looking around uh, and being like, but nodding his head, nodding your head. Uh, and. I blindly fa- trust this rat. <laughs> <laughs> the, he seems like a good guy. Yeah, yeah. The rat makes it to what looks like it could go underneath, but there's a. What would be a hallway is now covered in just and razor leaf vine. I take one. Uh, are they sharp? They're super sharp. Yeah, they, oh. they're basically like Vorpal Blade equivalents. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never yeah. mind. I'm not going to touch They're it. like a pest, like a petroid pest. Yeah. Can I cut them? Cool. You're welcome to drive. All right. So, I'm gonna pull out my mountain cleaver. Right. Okay. Which is a sword that's mountain. like. <laughs> it's about this wide, and it's about five feet long. Okay. Ooh. It looks Jeez. like a laser okay. sword. The Buster party. Sword, go cloud. So you just bring out your five foot long sword. It's the Buster Sword for Midgar in uh, the underneath Midgar. Right oh now. yeah, <laughs> in the Midgar Slum Sector Five. <laughs> where are okay. you hiding that tuck? Yeah, where was that? <laughs> it's a craftsman's secret. <laughs> the trade secret. It's in his beard. Right, roll the hit. I should roll damage, please. Mm. 
Isso. So that's gonna be ten damage right now. Ten damage? Okay, you go. <laughs> and it slices right through it as it recedes and almost like screams and Curse. And then it opens. It's just like mandrake <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Good job, bro. That was cool. Thank you. Following the rats. You're following the rat. Okay. The uh, and oh. on the. Ne- oh, yeah, go ahead. Um, just while you walk, I want to like walk next to Val. Okay. So, how did you do that thing where you jumped down the hole and didn't die? I'm already dead. You are? Yeah. Oh. How? A long story. I'll tell you another time. Okay. At this point, you start seeing crumbs of like food, sort of. Okay. I reach down, sort of. <laughs> Are you reach down? <laughs> I reach down to grab it. <laughs> it looks like it looks like maybe cake or something, but it has like pieces of. Monsters or creatures or something like that in it, like baked in with it. D- what? Stop it, man! <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to investigate further? Why are you touching things on the floor? <laughs> Who taught you that? But, but it's right there. Floor. Disease. <laughs> Disease. Death. Right? Stop yeah, you won't touching. Stop touching. Okay. Anybody else want to investigate? Now with my mouth, I don't. Yeah. Okay, I'm just ahead. sad about my cake. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is investigating? I will also invest in Miguel. Okay. Since there's 24. Drama made over this. And it starts to smell like uh, strawberry. 24? Nine. 16. Okay, nothing, nothing. Um, vortex. Oh, strawberry like the food! Yes. You notice that in some <laughs> of these pieces of what looks to be cake, kind of, are like pieces of a Modron. Of what? A Modron. Yes. What's Who that? are we looking for? Oh! Like some semi-organic, robotic-ish looking. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay, well we had to find. Well, uh, yeah, we R4M, think. we did not have to bring R4M back alive. <laughs> <laughs> You're not entirely wrong. And, and uh, Pharaoh, they look back and. And they kind of stealthily move forward like in Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> <laughs> And the group ducks down. Yeah, yeah, ducks just, down. <laughs> there's like red. There's somebody on. in the back that we forgot to group up. Oh no! <laughs> They're still in camp. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, so we're, we're stealthily. You stealthily approach, yeah. and you start to hear a sound of uh, of water rushing. As uh, in front of you is kind of like a semi flooded chamber, that's uh, in a in a northern part of the um, labyrinth here under Sigil. Nothing else in the chamber that we're seeing. Oh, there is. Oh. If you continue to look uh, a little ways down, there's a, a table. It has a law, I mean, over large, like strawberry cake. Uh, yeah. Oh, literally, it's strawberry cake. And around it are like eight rosy cheeked humans in this grimy baker's attire sitting at the table. Their eyes are like glazed over and they're sipping tea with their fingers oh, extended. No. I point at the cake and go. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks so good. It does kind of look good, except there's like. Pieces of. I turned to my little rat friends. Yes. Thank you. Reward! Holy water for the rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I reach into my pack. Yeah. Here's an orb of slope finding. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate. Yes! Okay, so. Rare orb. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> You what do you do? Yeah. I just fall from the ground, begins to tumble the other way you came from, because it was a, it was a slow Go get it! It's rare! Like, <laughs> Take good care of it! <laughs> Thank you for helping us! Oh you can tell the tremendous magic power from this ball, it's doing like what it's, like the magic. It's purpose. It's yeah. purpose, yeah. <laughs> it's working fully. Okay. Thank you, Oleander. I had nothing to give them. That's okay. I think they'll like the orb a lot more than I would be able to get you yeah. out of it. That's nice. Let me just cross it off my <laughs> my, <list. laughs> my inventory. <laughs> Short lived. Okay. He's up. Oh, kind of messed up. Maybe they just had too much cake. Why are we just going straight to murder? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't our dirge run. 
<laughs> my darker. <laughs> said beware strawberry but if those are people I take your word for it because you don't speak right look a little oh yeah they're uh, something, something, soft. something oh, so, okay uh, incorrect yeah, does pharaoh know anything pharaoh do you know anything like okay. at all bad great see well go up. so let's relieve them of their lives <laughs> and figure out where our friends at in the cake. Pharaoh gestures and uh, they stand back as if like, it doesn't seem like they, they mm-hmm. fight. Mm-hmm. 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 So I'd like to, we sneak up on them? I'd like to see if we could sneak up on these four. We do have an advantage on ourselves. Strawberry glaze Okay, people. but you're, <laughs> you're out in open chamber. There's no way oh, to sneak to it. But they're just busy sipping tea. Well, their pinkies out. as I say, there's more than one spade in this deck of cards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> The Spade of Justice! This is Spadey. Yeah, cool. See a spade? Yeah. Spadey. Let's go. <laughs> Great. Uh, I, I walk over to Pharaoh and I, mm-hmm. I uh, take their hands, you know, mm-hmm. much taller than me. Sure. I go, stay safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many are there? <laughs> About eight. <laughs> eight? Yeah. How far okay. are we from where they're at now? We, um, I don't know, 100 feet or so? Okay. It's all the way here so far. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Stop stabbing yourself. No, I got it stuck in my antlers. <laughs> <laughs> What's the move? Mm-hmm. I have label this stuff. Okay. Onwards to battle. So you're I guess it's time to fight stuff. To do battle? Yes. Yeah. Well, maybe we could try to talk to them first and be ready in case something happens. You try that. I'll stay back here and cover you in case it doesn't work. Okay. I start walking towards them. Okay, as soon as you kind of get out into the main and you'll the rest of you are kind of staying back. I just go, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Immediately get up, uh, basically all eight of them and say, Are you a believer? Of the Shaba? No! That the universe is a multi-layered cake, yes or no? Yes! I mean, that makes sense. Yes. I'm down. You... Does that mean that I can eat the ground? No, that you become part of the cake! Yes. That's going to be a no from us. Of equations. Yes! <laughs> my head. No, show me the cake. I want to see the cake. Well, to see it. You, so you're all moving forward then? Were you yes, visibly yeah. inaudible? Yes, move closer. You look at each other and say, mm-hmm. Non-believers! They think the cake is a lie! Oh my god! <laughs> we must ascend and show them the truth! No! They, oh. <laughs> oh god. Uh, they kind of like, they uh, rip their, their aprons open, uh, and they have like a, a tattoo symbol of like a meteor, uh, which you have seen before. Uh, and then they grab, so it looks like the shards, <laughs> and they like impale the shards in their chests. Oh! Oh no! And they, and they begin to mutate. I think. Roll initiative. Ah! Time to fight! 